For decades, Windows has been the default operating system for personal computing, shaping how people work, play, create, and communicate. From offices and schools to homes and gaming setups, Windows defined what a computer was supposed to be. Windows 11 arrived with the promise of modern design, improved security, and a refined user experience that would carry Microsoft into the next decade. Yet, instead of unifying users and strengthening its dominance, Windows 11 has sparked one of the most intense debates in the history of desktop computing. Many are now asking a question that would have sounded impossible just a few years ago. Is the decline of Windows 11 inevitable? And does the rise of Linux signal the beginning of a new era in personal computing? To understand why this question even exists, it is important to look at the broader context. Windows 11 did not emerge in a vacuum. It followed Windows 10, which Microsoft once claimed would be the last version of Windows evolving continuously through updates rather than major version changes. Windows 10 became stable, familiar, and widely adopted, especially in enterprise environments. When Windows 11 was announced, expectations were high. People anticipated meaningful innovation without sacrificing compatibility or user freedom. What they received instead was an operating system that felt restrictive to many, opinionated in design and demanding in hardware requirements. This shift marked a turning point in how users perceive Microsoft's relationship with its audience. One of the earliest and most controversial aspects of Windows 11 was its strict hardware requirements. Trusted Platform Module 2.0, newer CPUs, secure boot, and other constraints instantly excluded millions of perfectly functional machines. For users who had invested in capable hardware just a few years earlier, this felt like four stops. Computers that ran Windows 10 smoothly were suddenly deemed unworthy of the next generation. While Microsoft argued that these requirements were necessary for security and future proofing, many users saw them as artificial barriers designed to push hardware sales rather than genuinely protect users. This decision alone planted seeds of frustration and distrust. Beyond hardware, the user interface changes in Windows 11 created a sense of alienation for longtime users. The centered taskbar simplified context menus, and removal of customization options signaled a design philosophy that prioritized aesthetics over flexibility. Power users who relied on deep customization, efficient workflows, and muscle memory found themselves slowed down. Features that once required a single click now demanded multiple steps. The operating system felt less like a tool shaped by its user and more like a product enforcing a specific way of working. This loss of control resonated deeply especially among professionals and enthusiasts who had depended on Windows for years. Another critical issue lies in the increasing integration of online services and accounts. Windows 11 pushes users aggressively toward Microsoft accounts, cloud synchronization, and subscription-based services. Local accounts once the norm are now hidden behind extra steps or unavailable in certain editions. Built-in advertising, promotional notifications, and suggested apps further reinforce the feeling that Windows is no longer just an operating system but a platform for monetization. For many users, this shift crosses an invisible line. An operating system is expected to serve the user, not constantly market to them. This erosion of trust plays a significant role in why people are reconsidering their loyalty. Privacy concerns have also intensified. Telemetry, data collection, and opaque privacy settings have long been part of Windows, but Windows 11 amplifies these anxieties. Despite Microsoft's assurances, users remain uncertain about what data is collected, how it is used, and whether it can truly be disabled. In a world increasingly aware of digital privacy, this uncertainty becomes a deal breaker for many. People want transparency and control over their data, and when an operating system feels intrusive, alternatives become more attractive. Performance and stability have further complicated Windows 11's reputation. While many users experience smooth performance, Others report inconsistent updates, driver issues, and unexpected bugs. Major updates sometimes introduce new problems while fixing old ones, creating a sense of unpredictability. For businesses and professionals who rely on stability, this unpredictability is unacceptable. When operating system update can disrupt workflows or cause downtime, confidence erodes rapidly. Over time, these small frustrations accumulate, pushing users to explore other options. This is where Linux enters the conversation not as a niche hobbyist platform, but as a serious alternative gaining momentum. Linux has existed for decades, quietly powering servers, supercomputers, embedded systems, and mobile devices through Android. For a long time, desktop Linux was seen as powerful but impractical for everyday users, plagued by compatibility issues 
and steep learning curves. However, that perception is increasingly outdated. Modern Linux distributions have evolved dramatically, focusing on usability, polish, and accessibility without sacrificing freedom. One of Linux's greatest strengths lies in its diversity. Unlike Windows, which follows a single corporate vision, Linux exists as an ecosystem of distributions, each tailored to different needs. Some prioritize simplicity and familiarity, offering interfaces that feel comfortable to former Windows users. Others focus on performance, minimalism, or cutting-edge features. This diversity empowers users to choose an operating system that aligns with their workflow rather than adapting their workflow to the operating system. In a world where personalization is valued, this flexibility is incredibly appealing. Hardware compatibility, once a major weakness for Linux, has improved significantly. Many distributions run efficiently on older machines, extending the lifespan of hardware that Windows 11 has abandoned. This is not just a technical advantage, but an ethical one. As concerns about electronic waste and sustainability grow, the ability to keep older computers functional becomes increasingly important. Linux offers a path forward that does not require constant hardware upgrades, resonating with users who value practicality and environmental responsibility. Software availability on Linux has also expanded beyond expectations. Web-based applications have reduced dependency on platform-specific software, allowing users to access productivity tools, creative suites, and communication platforms directly through browsers. At the same time, native Linux applications have matured offering powerful alternatives for development, design, video editing, and more. Gaming, once considered Linux's weakest area, has seen remarkable progress thanks to compatibility layers and industry support. For many users, the gap between Windows and Linux software ecosystems has narrowed enough to make switching realistic. Perhaps the most profound difference between Windows 11 and Linux lies in philosophy. Linux is built on principles of openness, transparency, and community collaboration. Users are not just consumers, but participants in an ecosystem that values shared knowledge and collective improvement. Updates are generally optional, transparent, and user. There is no forced upgrade cycle, no hidden monetization strategies, and no mandatory accounts. This sense of ownership over one system creates a fundamentally different relationship between user and operating system. Security is another area where Linux's reputation shines. While no system is immune to threats, Linux's architecture and permission model provides strong protection by default. The open source nature of Linux allows vulnerabilities to be identified and addressed by a global community rather than a single corporation. For users concerned about security without sacrificing control, this model feels reassuring. In contrast, Windows 11's security enhancements, while technically impressive, often feel imposed rather than empowering, the rise of Linux is not happening in isolation. It coincides with broader shifts in how people use computers. Cloud computing, remote work, and web applications have reduced reliance on specific operating systems. When most daily tasks happen in a browser, the underlying OS becomes less about brand loyalty and more about comfort, performance, and trust. In this environment, Windows 11's constraints feel increasingly out of step with user expectations. While Linux's flexibility aligns perfectly with modern workflows, it is important, however, to acknowledge that Windows 11 is not universally failing. Many users appreciate its design, security features, and integration with Microsoft's ecosystem. Enterprises deeply invested in Microsoft tools may find Windows 11 a logical choice. The operating system is not collapsing overnight, nor is Linux poised to replace Windows entirely in the immediate future. What is changing is the balance of perception. Windows is no longer the unquestioned default. It is one option among many, and for the first time, a significant number of users are actively choosing something else. This shift in mindset is perhaps the most significant indicator of change. The idea that Linux is only for developers or enthusiasts is fading. Tutorials, documentation, and community support have become more accessible than ever. Installation processes are simpler, hardware detection is smoother, and user interfaces are more polished. New users can transition with minimal friction, especially those frustrated by Windows 11's direction. Every successful switch challenges old assumptions and inspires others to consider the same path. Economic factors also play a role. As software subscriptions become more common and licensing costs increase, free and open source solutions gain appeal. Linux distributions are typically free, with optional paid support rather than mandatory fees. For students, small businesses, and users in developing regions, this accessibility is transformative. An operating system that offers full functionality without financial barriers aligns with the democratizing spirit of technology. Looking ahead, 
The question is not whether Windows 11 will disappear, but whether its current trajectory can sustain long-term loyalty if Microsoft continues to prioritize control, monetization, and restrictive design over user freedom, the erosion of trust may accelerate. Conversely, if Linux continues to improve usability while maintaining its core values, its growth will likely continue. The future of desktop computing may not belong to a single dominant platform, but to a more diverse ecosystem where users have real choice. In this emerging landscape, Linux's rise signals more than just a technical shift. It represents a cultural change in how people relate to their computers. Users are becoming more informed, more demanding, and less willing to accept decisions that do not serve their interests. They want transparency, control, and respect for their autonomy. Linux embodies these ideals in a way that resonates deeply with modern users. Windows Zonzi, for all its strengths, stands at a crossroads. It can either adapt to these changing expectations or risk further alienation. The decline, if it happens, will not be sudden or dramatic, but gradual and driven by countless individual decisions. Each user who chooses Linux over Windows sends a quiet but powerful message about what they value in technology. Ultimately, the rise of Linux does not have to mean the fall of Windows, but it does signal the end of unquestioned dominance. A new era is emerging, defined not by a single operating system, but by user choice and empowerment. In this era, operating systems must earn loyalty through respect, flexibility, and trust. Whether Windows 11 can meet that challenge remains to be seen. But one thing is clear. The conversation has changed. The landscape is shifting. And the future of personal computing will never be the same again.